the challenge that we have is I tend to always end up as the only women on many um, major platforms, whether it's across Africa or across the globe. Um, there's many women across Africa in the insurance industry that need the same visibility, that are smarter than me, um, just haven't had the opportunity to, uh, to be exposed. Um, so that's uh, why it's so close to my heart. Um, and the same thing goes for, for the youth, right? We have um, an industry that is aging across, across the continent. Um, the one thing that is a bit challenging is that um, penetration is low, but at the same time, we don't have enough jobs for everybody. Africa is quite a young continent. Will the insurance industry be able to contribute in a meaningful way in hiring young people? It's, it's at the top of the list, right? Um, as the youth become more technologically advanced um, and as the youth become uh, the one that will be purchasing insurance, it's also important to have other young people selling to other young people. Um, and they sell to each other, mainly through technology nowadays. Um, one of the big commitment that we have made and we continue to make is how do we also transform um, our part of Africa in a more technologically driven um, company. Uh, since last year we've invested in DIMA which is a mobile insurance um, company that uh, more of a mobile provider, so they have the insurance companies behind um, and they use mobile to attract uh, more uh, insurance buyers so they have almost about a million customers um, that they add on on a quarterly basis um, and these are really new customers they are customers that were not used to buying insurance before um, so we tend to see that with technology we are able to access people that are not usually insurance buyers and in our small way we also help contribute to the insurance penetration across Africa. Oh, the most important factor is called what? Insurance exchange, right? So um, one of my passion as well is to, has been, I've worked in South Africa for, for many years. I've worked in the, the other countries, I don't like to say rest of Africa, in, other, in countries outside of South Africa as well. Um, the, the lack that I've seen is how do we bring Africa as one insurance market. Currently, we see it as South Africa, and the other countries. Um, so the theme of this conference was quite close to my heart because it's the beginning of aligning um, the continent together, the Insurance Institute of South Africa and the AIO, which is the African insurance organization that needs to be working quite closely together. Um, what we are moving forward is that next year we will have AIO here in South Africa, which will then reinforce again the, uh, the strength. So it's important to have people across Africa that are dealing at Pan-African level, rather than seeing South Africa dealing only with the southern part of Africa, West Africa only dealing with who's around them, etc. So it's more important, it gives the African insurance market this bigger strength if we are really seen as one global market, even though we are culturally different, one country to another. One thing, let's learn from each other, you know? No one is better than the other. No one is smarter than the other. Uh, one may be bigger than the others, but let's make sure that we are working um, to have one voice in the international um, uh, landscape because we, a lot of foreign direct investments are coming from overseas at the moment, so it's important that um, we in Africa are seen as being very collaborative and pushing the insurance sector forward together. I am Delphine Traoré Maidu, Chief Operating Officer of Alliance Africa and you are watching Risk Africa TV.